From earlylearningmom.com, I'm here today to share with you our January book haul. So typically when I am collecting books for our home library, I try to buy as much as possible used um, just because books can be so pricey and I know I can get a lot of great books for super cheap on Kijiji or um, Once Upon a Child at Once Upon a Child or the thrift store. So that's where I get most of my books. Um, this month because Z had some Christmas money um, he was given. We did order some books from Amazon. However, we ordered them on like the Amazon market where we were paying significantly less. Um, there was also some books that are no longer in print and sometimes can be harder to find and those I was finding on um, Amazon market as well. So, without further, further ado, I will show you the books and excuse that. Those are my cats. They sound vicious. Um, we just have a grumpy old 10 year old Devon Rex and two, um, they're about one and a half now, um, Sphinx cats. And so she can only tolerate them so much. So that's what's going on there. Side view of the books that we got this month. Next month we will not have nearly as many. Um, not because I haven't been purchasing them, but because I have been doing most of my book hunting on the Facebook homeschool groups and they will be being sent to, I have one friend that's in California that is receiving all the books that I purchased from eBay and combining them in one box and shipping them to the border for me. And I also have two women that I purchased from on the homeschool buy and sell groups and they have two big boxes of books that are heading their way to me but I am not heading to the United States until March. So um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a book haul because up to date I think I've only purchased two books. Um, that may change. However, uh, I may just combine the February books with the March books just to uh, not waste a video. Uh, so let's get started. So the first batch of books here are Sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can adjust that. Dracula doesn't play kickball, and that is one of the adventures of the Bailey School Kids. We also have this is one of the adventures of the Bailey School Kids. It's a special. It's Leprechauns Don't Play Fetch. We'll be reading this book um, next month for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, the Adventures of the Bailey School Kids special, Ogres Don't Hunt Easter Eggs, and that is one we will be reading before Easter, so probably in April. Um, these two were purchased on, um, actually I think all three of these were purchased on um, Amazon Marketplace. Well, as was this, Frankenstein doesn't slam hockey pucks. I had decided to use, um, well Zakari and I decided to use some of his Christmas money to complete the Bailey School Kids collection because I'm finding some of them are becoming more and more difficult to find. So I want to make sure we have the whole collection because we are so we were so close. We also got um, The Adventures of the Bailey School Kids, Mrs. Jeepers Vacation. Now you'll see between the two of these this one is considerably bigger, um, so these special editions are usually quite a bit longer, um, 115 pages, but there's also some activities and stuff. Now this is the other, this is the Bailey City Monsters. Um, this is a series that takes place, um, it's the other class, I think they're in grade three, so it's the other third grade class these characters are from. So this is Happy Boo Day. We also got Snow Monster Mystery, um, Vampire Baby, Double Trouble Monsters. Now this, these pile of Pokemon books I got off Kijiji. I got quite a deal on them. I think I got all six for like ten dollars. Um, so we were pretty happy with that. Um, especially in the summer, um, Zakari um, it comes along with me and Wesley and we do some Pokemon hunting so I thought these might be fun to read this summer so we have Pokemon Junior and this is me um, Surf's Up Pikachu, Save Our Squirtle, Bulbasaur's Bad Day, Riot Chew Shows Off, 
a Pokemon Snowdown, the Snubble Blues. We were also able to find, these are another series that's super tricky to find. I have a bunch that's going to be waiting for me at the border, and which includes one, two, and three, so we can start reading this series. It's uh, Clue Jr., The Case of the School uh, of the Zoo Clue. Well, apparently I can't talk today. We also got uh, Lost in the Snow. I don't know why this one piqued my interest. It was only 25 cents, and I used to read Adele Yearling books as a kid, so we just grabbed this. It's a happy little family. Um, I've been noticing these books popping up. Uh, New Kids on the Polk Street uh, of the at the Polk Street School. We've read one of them, so I thought, ah, what the hey? I believe this is book one, so we're gonna read that. We also have been reading the Notebook of Doom. Actually, we only read one, but um, I like reading them because they interest my eldest a little bit more, and to try to get him out of the graphic novels and more into um, more of a chapter book style. He really likes the uh, Diaries of the Wimpy Kids, so. Um, I read the first one. I read the first one, then I had him read it independently, and we talked about it. So that's why we're reading these books. They're not my favorite, but they interest him. So we have, uh, oh, sorry, that was Whack of the P-Rex, and we have Chomp of the Meat-Eating Vegetables. We also have Horrible Harry. Oh, hang on. Real life, just had to get the little Z, a quick snack. Um... So we also have Horrible Harry Bugs the Three Bears. We have collected quite a few of these over the last year or so. We haven't read any of them, but I noticed in one of the curriculums that I will be reviewing, um, they use a few of these books, so hopefully we'll get into them. We also got Dolphin School, Splash's Secret Friend. This one we are going to probably start reading tonight. It is Nate the Great and the Mushy Valentine. I don't think we've read any of the Nate the Great books, so um, this will be a way to kind of introduce us to him. We have a few, and uh, it kind of pushes us into trying some new series, which we have done a lot of this month to celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, a friend of mine recommended this series, Dr. Kitty Cat, um, and this one is Daisy the Kitten. Um, apparently they are a, each book is a standalone story about an individual patient, so um, it's book three, I got it at Once Upon a Child, it says $1.50, but I bought ten books, so they were half off, so I paid 75 cents. Um, so I figured it was a great way to try this series, um, especially knowing that we don't have to read them in order, so I'll do that. Um, we also got this uh, Black Lagoon Adventures, Valentine's Day from the Black Lagoon. Um, we read this. I wasn't crazy about the series, but uh, Little Z seemed to enjoy it. So uh, it seems more like a boy book. Um, so we're, you know what, I did buy a few more based on the holidays. Um, waiting at the border for me will be April Fool, St. Patrick's Day. Um, those kind of books. So to throw them in once on a holiday is not going to kill me, but they're definitely not the best literature available. Now this series, Ready Freddy, um, we purchased Shark Tale. I have a few of the books and I also have a few waiting for me at the border. Wasn't sure I was going to like the series, but we did read the Valentine's Day one and I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm excited to try to collect these. We also started collecting these smaller Nancy Drew books. They, it's uh, Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew, and this one is Camp Creepy. There's a few pictures. Um, I'm looking forward to using like this one when we go camping this summer. We got Butterfly Blues. Um, we'll probably read that in the spring. And finally, we got these two Barkley School for Dogs. Um, yeah, I purchased that one at Once Upon a Child and that one as well. So they were 75 cents each. This one is Snow Day and we also got Blue Ribbon Blues. So um, yeah, and they are by the same authors of the uh, Bailey Street kits. So I'm really hoping that we'll enjoy them. So anyhow, that is it for the books we purchased this month. Watching guys, and I hope that um, this video kind of gave you some ideas of some books that you might be able to uh, find for your children. You don't necessarily have to purchase them like I do. Um, my husband was asking me the other day, are you trying to make your own library? And my answer was, um, of course, of course I am. 
Um, but that being said, not everybody has all the space to keep books like this, nor wants to. I know um, a lot of people are into the minim minimalist movement, especially with that specific show on YouTube, or not YouTube, uh, Netflix, and they're trying to like pare down what they have. And typically I do, but when it comes to educational materials, no. No, they make me all happy. It makes me happy seeing that I have all these resources available for my children. That being said, I did go clear up my expensive library fine bill. I think it was almost $40. Um, I went and cleared it up because I do want to start reading more picture books. However, just because my kids, my older kids are past the picture book stage and Z is going on seven and you know, we may, I don't know how, m and we're not having any more children, so I don't know how much we're going to really utilize them. We do have tons of picture books, but I want specific books on like Valentine's Day or spring or Easter, and I just can't bring myself to invest too much money in that at this point. So we have been utilizing the library. I get on there, I put holds, I go pick up a few books every couple of days and drop off the books that we've read. So we have been utilizing the library. And you can do the same thing with chapter books as well. Apparently, see, lunch is ready. So that's just a sign I should be wrapping up. But anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like these type of videos, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I will also be putting a link in the description below that also includes a link to my blog, which I will have all these books listed with their Amazon links if you are so inclined. If there was one that really piqued your interest that you might want to purchase, um, because I didn't mention very many, I don't think I mentioned any of the authors, so it'll just help you find them quicker. Thanks for watching. Thank you.